I think it's about time to review another plane. The Cessna 337G Skymaster is the aircraft of April. Starting off with the exterior model of this Cessna, you can see it looks very nice. This plane has detailed liveries and the animations for the plane's engines and flaps work perfectly. The Skymaster also has some additional animations like the doors opening. When you enter the cockpit of this plane, you'll see that all the instruments are detailed and functional. The texturing is well done, and if you want to know which instrument is which, you can simply press Ctrl and C to find out. The unusual engine setup for this plane might surprise you. Unlike most other aircraft, the Skymaster has both a tractor and a pusher engine. I'm not so sure how well this is simulated and affects the performance of this plane realistically, but it seems to me that this Cessna handles like other small planes in flight gear, which would make sense looking at the size of this plane. To me it feels right, but this flight dynamics section isn't my strongest part of this reviewing thing, as you might have already noticed. So let's quickly move on to my wish list. Although, it's also hard to say something in this section really. It seems like the developer is still working on improving the cockpit instruments. And besides that, there's really not a big thing that's obviously missing. I think I would like to see a system failure menu. Flying this Skymaster with only one engine or landing with a missing wheel would be great for flight training. Take a listen to these engine sounds for a second. The engine setup of this plane has a unique sound, and the developers took note of that. I think this sound is pretty cool. I've so far enjoyed doing small flights with this plane in flight gear a lot. That's why I would recommend doing short flights like this one, from the island of Saba to St. Barts, or maybe some other Caribbean islands. The Cessna 337G Skymaster can easily handle short runways and the basic autopilot allows you to do simple airport to airport flights with some help of the GPS settings, find the airport you want to fly to and enjoy your flight. I hope you liked this aircraft review. Be sure to check back here next month when I'll be right here again reviewing the aircraft of May. <laughs> <laughs>